Hi, today we're at Himanaset State Park in Connecticut on the Long Island Sound. And it's a beautiful July day, and this end of the beach, which is Meeks Point, is covered with flipper shells. So look down and take a look at it. It is really just thousands and thousands of them all around the rock I'm sitting on. So let's see what else we're finding out here. Found some nice Irish moss. This is marine algae. Irish moss here. And then this one is called green sea lettuce. Now I'm told you can eat green sea lettuce, but they say be very careful where you get it from because if the water is polluted, it will be, you know, it will absorb pollution. So I would be hesitant to eat, to eat it unless you know for sure that it's clean. Over here we have some jingle shells and you can see the beautiful orange and yellow. And whenever you find one with a hole in it, that's the other side of the jingle shell, right? They would be together like that because they're a bivalve. So there's two valves that protect the mollusk within. Now they would put byssus threads through that little hole and attach themselves to a rock or another shell. So we also have some blue mussels, which are also bivalves. You can see the two valves here, blue mussels, and then just tons of oysters too. So the main two shells out here are the slipper shells and the oysters. And the slipper shells can be really pretty, like look at that one, it's almost like a tiger pattern. So really cool slipper shells. Here's a flat one, flat slipper shell, nice driftwood found some rose hips. These are from the beach roses and this is where you get your vitamin C when they, you know, you can actually buy it in pill form, etc. Here's a piece of a cohog, the nice blue purple of the cohog. I found some beautiful rocks, so really pretty colors out here. This is the end of where the Galt Glacier came, so it deposited a lot of rocks and soil out here. And then I don't know what this is. It looks like a peach pit, but it's an odd one. And then here's the treasure, and I'm going to bring this up a little closer. Okay, so a lot of these are minis, but here it looks like you have some blood arcs, okay? Now the blood arcs, you can tell by the teeth, and there's also the transverse arcs, so I almost want to get my glasses on those to tell you for sure, but that, those are the arc shells. And then we have the mud dog whelks there that are beautiful. I found a few greedy dove snails. See these little narrow ones here? Greedy dove snails. That's the dog well. And then we have the New England Nassau. The one with the beautiful pattern like a basket weave. They'll even call that the basket well or the New England um, well. They're the drills. They refer to these as the drills. And these are the oyster drills. Can you see them? Some of them mixed up a little bit. But these are the beautiful oyster drills. Damn, those are so pretty. And a couple, and there looks like a, another little greedy dove snail. Another one here. Now, I didn't find many periwinkles, and I was told we stopped at the um, nature center, and I was told by the woman that they harvest these out here. So I suppose it makes sense that we're not going to find that many. And then I found this little tiny baby. Looks like a moon snail, and it looks like that something might be in it. So guess what? That one's going back. And then I found this beautiful moon snail. Okay, it's a lobed moon snail. You can see that little flap of shell over the operculum. And there's another piece of one. And anyways, these are beautiful. So if you want to find these, you really got to get right down and look closely in amongst all the slipper shells. And what else do I want to tell you? Oh, I know. I wanted to give credit to Solace and Shelling, a, a gentleman who does some amazing videos. And he did one of the parks here, and it's really great. So I would suggest you go over to Solace and Shelling and check that out, too. And another video videographer that I like is um, Sea Cabin at Plum Island. She also does some nice videos. So, you know, there's a lot of us that love shelling, and it's great to see sort of each little experience that we have. Anyways, I hope you enjoy this. Thank you.